All right, this is the 1988 Chevrolet Cheyenne 1500 redo. It's got a 2000 Cadillac Escalade front clip on it. And I decided to pretty much redo the whole truck, drop it down. We're shaving everything off. That's not gonna be there. Antenna's gonna be completely gone. Both the door handles are gonna be gone. The uh, tailgate handle has already been flipped to the inside. The gas tank door is gone. And what's going to happen with that is the uh, gas cap is going to come up through the bed here right above the gas tank and be sitting somewhere in this area. And we're going to... Uh, have sheet metal wrap the whole entire inside of this bed so it's all nice and smooth and everything. I've already dropped the rear. I uh, did my own axle flip kit. Only cost me 30 bucks. All I had to buy was the leaf spring seat, which is in between the axle and the leaf spring. That's the same type of seat that it comes stock on the top. I just got another one and uh, took the leaf spring off, put it under it, slapped that on there. I made my own plate and I got uh, new U-bolts because I had to burn the other ones off because they were so rusted. And then just clamp them all together and make sure everything's real tight. And then up front, lowering, I was planning on uh, cutting the stock coil springs, but found out that ain't going to work because of the type of coil they are. So we have to get uh, lower end coils and lower end spindle, and that should give me about five inches of drop on the front. The uh, flip kit on the rear gave me about six inches of drop. Then once that's done, the bed has to come off again so I can cut the hole in the floor for the gas line to come up I'll have to order some sheet metal so I can put sheet metal on the inside of the bed I have to order uh, tail light fillers and weld them in and the roll pan is uh, I'm making my own tail lights we're gonna have uh, four clear round LED tail lights in that oh and that's the uh, exhaust off of this truck I dropped it so low that I had to take it off because my uh, axle was hitting the exhaust and once uh, I finished lowering the front, the bed's got to come off, and then I got to do all that work to it. And then uh, sometime in there, I'll have another video out showing the process. So stay tuned.